Hello, caller, you're on the air. Hello? Hello. Hey, um, you said you uh, you learn from your viewers and, and they can learn from you. Um, I have a question. Sure, be nice now. Was Jesus gay? Oh, I don't know. Uh, maybe, if you, I think that would probably be a question for you to ask me, sir. I would, I would, I would really like to ram you right in the back hatch. Uh, why would you say you're, you worked on a ranch before? I want, I want I, I, to wreck you. I think I worked uh, on a ranch too one time. In the back hatch. <laughs> Tonight's issue is, should New Yorkers carry handguns, or should they be allowed to have handguns? Hi, you're on the air. Hey, Ken, how are you doing? Okay, how are you? Um, fine. I think that's a very good topic for tonight. Um, first of all, uh, I, on occasion, I've been in the city now for about 20 years. Right. Um, on several occasions, I've been held up, you know, about, uh, I had codes taken from me, you mm -hmm. it, my watch. Um, but however, I think if you carry a piece or you're carrying a gun, I think you're only adding to the situation. Um, mm -hmm. it, I think it should be pro-choice, of course, if New Yorkers want to would carry handguns or not. But I think if uh, people in general start walking around with weapons, it's only, uh, you know, creating a society in which their evil is only superseded by more evil. I mean, someone's walking around and with you, he's going to look at you get mugged, and you pull out a piece, and you, and you know, you're... Could take this man's life. That's true. I think you're only creating, you know, a worse situation, and you start big dick. Hi, you're on the air. Hi, Ken. Yes. I think it's good that people can have handguns so we can shoot people like you. Right. Back. Fuck you. Hi, you're on the air. How you doing? How are you? All right. What do you think? Should we carry handguns yeah, or what? Definitely. Definitely. Yeah. Okay. Good What's... people like you. All right. Hi, you're on the air. Uh, hi, I called a call before um, with a very valid point. I think it was one of your first calls. Yeah. Fuck you, you got clacker. Hi, you're on the air. Hello, Ken. Yes. I was wondering how you would think that it would be possible to regulate the sale of these guns. And want to know if you suck dick. All right. Well, in answer to your second question, no. And I'm not sure how we would regulate the sales. Hi, you're on the air. Um, I think you need a federal law first if, if you want to have a, a, a law in New York City against guns. Um, right now, there's this big debate in, in the nation whether or not we should be the, allow the privilege to have guns uh, as citizens or we should not. Um, mm -hmm. You know, the NRA has, for the last, I don't know, century been fighting for uh, right. the privilege of citizens to carry guns. Fuck you, cockbacker. Good evening, you're on Brainstorms. Hi, uh, Jack, I have a question about uh, what you were talking about earlier. Now, isn't it true? Now, now let me get this straight here, Jack. Uh, now, can you hear me okay? Yeah. Now, now, didn't you, weren't you the penguin in Batman Part 2? Good evening, you're on Brainstorms. Yeah, this, this is for the penguin. I just was wondering. Good evening, you're on Brainstorms. Yeah, I've got a question about the weapons of mass destruction. Sure. Do you think that weapons like freeze rays and stuff like that should be banned as well? Like what? Like freeze rays? I mean, you, you tried that in Gotham City, right? Oh, hell. Why, why, why are these people cursing at you? My friend, they have nothing better to do. Listen, man, you... I can't hear you. Good evening. Good evening. Your mother. Thank you. Thank you. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello. Yeah. Uh huh. I swear these people in New York City. Good evening. You suck. Uh huh. Uh huh. Apparently you do too. 
Good evening. Can I get a second reading? Honey, you don't call her asking for stuff like that. This is not Walk a bodega. Here, what is that? Ladies and gentlemen, I'm here to help you. This is not a bodega. Don't call, oh, let me get psychic energy reading. This is not a bodega, honey. Good evening. Hello? Hello, honey. Yes. Hello? Honey, get on off my phone here. Good evening. Good evening. Asshole. Thank you, thank you. I bet yours is quite wide, isn't Your it? Your mother. Uh-huh, yours is all scratched out. Good evening. Good evening. Hello. Hello, honey. Good evening. You, you enjoy your life, honey. Good evening. My Lord. Good evening. Hi, how are you? Honey, I'm better now. How are you? I'm good. That's good to hear. So what is this show about? Get your life together, honey. Get the hell off my phone, too. Chris Henry, I'll discuss that later on. And we're going to go to the phones. We have our first caller. Hello. Uh, yeah, my head flared up real bad. Yeah, we know. All right. What was that? That's nice to know. Call Preparation H. Okay. Okay. Uh, let's get back into the show, Pittsburgh. Wow. It's okay. a bad night tonight. Guess we're for two, folks. The ones that we do catch, like, it's a Detroit game. They were bouncing off helmets, and mm -hmm. we were getting the calls from the officials. Right. I think if we would have been playing good the whole game, there shouldn't have even been overtime. Oh, absolutely, Brian. I, I said this earlier in the program. The offense has been struggling. Ray Sherman's offense is boring. He's uh, Tom Moore Jr. I've put in front of him. Uh, we have weak wide receivers who can catch the football, but they can't run with it. I don't blame the coin toss at all on this. Interesting. <laughs> Two three one twenty two eighty eight is the number to call. Good evening. Hello. Hello, my friend. Oh, happy Friday. Happy Friday, my friend. Uh, good evening. Uh, I was calling. I was hoping to get a. Uh... Ladies and gentlemen, this is not a bodega, and it is not McDonald's. You ain't got a menu to look at here. You know it's about psychic energy. That's all it's about here. Ain't no guesswork. Can I get a, uh... You can get a foot up your ass, what you can get. Don't call here with this foolishness here. Good evening. Hey. Uh-huh, uh-huh. Ladies and gentlemen, a little old time here. I said I was gonna help four peoples here. I ain't help but two. What a damn shame it's been. Good evening. Good evening. Uh-huh. Go on somewhere. Good evening. My Lord. Good evening. Hello? Yes, honey. Yeah, Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Whew. Lord have mercy. Good evening. Fuck you. Yes, yes. Yes, another one of them fools. Another one of them fools. That's very creative, my friend. Very creative. Good evening. Uh-huh. Really? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Good evening. How are you? Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Good evening. Good evening. My dear. Really, really. Uh Hello, you're on the air. Hi, I was wondering how um, expensive a Harley Davidson would be to get, um, like, a used one, a smaller one. The used ones probably would run between three and six or seven thousand dollars for a smaller bike. The new bike price would be somewhere in the area of five to six thousand dollars. For the 883 and up to 10,000 for the 1200. Oh wow! Is that how much you charge for a blow job? Hello, you're on the air. Yeah, I, I'm a big fan of Harley riding because I love how it vibrates my testicles, and I like to jack off and masturbate for hours. All right, I am going to say that this is not a real phone call. Um, are you serious? Are you serious? I am always serious. Are I'm you, always serious. Are you serious? Are you serious? No, are you serious? No, are you serious? Steve, you're on the air, Harold. What is your comment or question? Yes, hello, I'm Dr. Mukta. I just wanted to know where you went and got your ugly face, loser! Uh-huh. Good evening. Fuck you. Oh, really? That's wonderful, honey. That takes a lot of courage to call here, fuck you, and hang up the phone. That's, that's a lot of courage there. Uh-huh. Good evening. Good evening. Uh-huh. 
Really? Really? Okay, you uh-huh. Freak fuck face. Uh-huh. Uh-huh. Really? Hey, look, uh-huh. Look. That's hey, wonderful. Hey, that sounds great. I, I love that. Uh-huh. I'm going to see to it that you get bitten the ass by German Shepherd. Uh-huh. A big old German Shepherd. Coming your way, my friend. Good evening. Hello? Watch out for that German Shepherd. Is this uh, TV? Gone somewhere. Ladies and gentlemen, running low on time. Good evening. I hope you're proud of yourself. You're clogging up the line for somebody to need my help. Good evening. Uh huh. Uh huh. Thank you, Troy, New York. Uh, you're on the Washington Journal. Go ahead. I, I would just like to thank you for taking my call. Number one, and number two, you should go fuck yourself. On the uh, USA Today. Hi. Good morning. Hi. Hey, just wanted to make a comment. Um, you know, about this is the first time in any election that. Uh, you know, I voted uh, Democrat, and that's because, you know, all of the one-way street that the Republican Party seemed to be going, it sounded an awful lot like Howard Stern's butthole. All right, we're going to clear the lines, and uh, we'll uh, continue. From uh, Rhode Island, and the town is Quahog. You're on. Go ahead. Hi. I actually uh, disagree with a couple of the people who just called in. I was actually in Iraq no more than maybe three or four months ago, and um, everyone there wants to leave. We don't want to be there anymore. We don't want to keep fighting. We just want to go home. We've been there for too long. We keep getting held over and held over. We haven't seen our family in years. I mean, I can't remember the last time I barrel rolled my wife. Hi, uh, good morning. It's a very uh, exciting day here in America, the New Hampshire primary. Uh, I think it's very interesting to see how many, how different this race is from previous races. When you look at the amount of personality that you see in the Republican field, Herman Cain with his 999 plan, Rick Perry with his oops, Michelle Bachman with her very hairy vagina. Oh. I ain't helped nobody that I wanted to help here. Said I want to help four people. I didn't do that. I was trying to send out positive energy. Guess what came back? Nothing but negative energy. For those of you out there, uh-huh, that love CB, as I love you, uh-huh, I'm so sorry, uh-huh, you know this ain't the way it usually go here. I get a few Rudy Poots calling Jack the Fool, but it's never like this. And again, I'd like to apologize for that, uh-huh. New York City, I love you anyway. You treat me wrong. what Jesus say? OJC said, forgive them, for they know not what they do, uh-huh. They don't know, so I got to forgive them. New York City, y'all got to get it together. You really do. I love you, but you got to get it together. Good evening. I don't love you, nigga. You fat. Really? Eastern Time, full day of politics here. Austin, Texas. Lex, Democrat, you're up next. Uh, yes, hi. I think uh, Romney should suck a cock. Going to move on to the next talking to you about this issue. Tony is up from Reno, Nevada on our Democratic line. Good morning, Tony. Yeah, hello. Um, before I talk about furloughs, I just wanted to give my opinion about John Bader. I mean, he's a fucking nigger ass. Hey, sorry. sorry about that. I apologize. My question deals with why, why don't they uh, sort of advertise more these cars that are environmentally efficient? And I'd like to uh, stick my finger in your in-betweens. Bend over and crack a smile. Tom from Pasadena, Maryland, joining us on our Democrats line. Hi. Yeah, hello. Thank you for taking my call, number one. Number two, you should go fuck yourself, you fucking faggot. Um, I just wanted to say that it's really great what you guys are doing. Um, having a program about the fiscal cliff. Um, it's hard as a voter, knowing that the uh, lawmakers are taking voters for granted, thinking that uh, they don't care about fuck, fuck, nigga, fuck, fuck. Really productive use of our time this morning. Honey, do you suck your daddy's dick with that filthy mouth? Do you? Good evening. Happy. Uh huh. Ladies and gentlemen, I got to go. I really have got to go. You do me so wrong. You do me so wrong. Good evening. Hi, ugly friend. Uh huh. Yeah. Good evening. Good evening. Uh huh. Good evening. Uh-huh. 
Ladies and gentlemen, I'm finna go. It's a damn shame I couldn't help you. But you know what? You're gonna read the newspaper, watch it on New York One. It's gonna be a whole lot of people getting fucked up this weekend. Uh-huh. Courtesy of yours truly. Uh-huh. You heard it here first. Matter oh my goodness, I shouldn't have said that. Scratch that, ladies and gentlemen. You did not hear that. That is not true. I will never hurt anybody. Intentionally. I I have uh I, I just have an incredible issue with uh what's what's been going on with this. I uh the 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 world it's it's been so sick. Um I just I can't believe how how milk your tits look. Looking at some other stories. Doesn't matter. Well, all right, first line. Line one. Yeah. Um, I have a question. All right, first of all, speak up a little bit because I can barely hear you. I have a question. Okay. Go ahead. With your question. Oh, can, can you suck my dick, bitch? <laughs> well, see, your problem is you have a fascination with that. You fight for the right not to vote because all politicians are cunt bags. Fucking cunt bags. Okay, well, I apologize for, uh, for that. In Texas, Republican line, thanks for holding. You're on with Michael Gordon of the New York Times. Penis, big penis, penises everywhere. All right. Uh-huh. L-C-B. Yeah, uh-huh. Good evening. Uh-huh. Yes. Hey, mommy. Hey, look, mommy. Lord have mercy. Good evening. Good evening, sir. How are you, my friend? Hey, I'm a musician. I just want to plug... Oh, my goodness. What a tangle web we weave when first we put the tooth to see. Good evening. Hey, what's going on? <sighs> Good evening. Hi, I need help. Yes, you do, honey. Good evening. Good evening. I got to go. Y'all done hurt my feelings so much. Hurt my feelings. I got to go. It's been wonderful. Even though I couldn't help too many people here. I love you. Many blessings. I'm signing off. Sincerely yours, Clarence Baynard Walker. May you have a blessed weekend and a blessed life.